Welcome to ECLIMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed an instrument called Avania calipers, the parts of Avania calipers, and then how to use Avania calipers to make measurement of objects, where we said it's appropriate in measuring the internal diameter of hollow substances and also the external diameter of hollow substances and also spherical objects. We also discussed the least count or the accuracy of this instrument and we said the accuracy of this instrument is 0.01 centimeter. This is very important to remember and also we discussed how to read the true scales of this instrument. For you to read the main scale then you look at the value which is opposite and to the left of the zero mark of the Vanya scale and for you to read the Vanya scale you read a value that coincides with the main scale and then you multiply it by this least count. Now in this lesson, we are going to discuss uh, how to read a Vanya caliper scale. And in this case, we're going to do several examples concerning the same. So by the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to read a Vanya caliper scale comfortably without any challenge. So more often when we give students questions concerning reading a scale on Avania calipers, we don't give them a whole diagram of Avania calipers that you can see on the first diagram on the screen. What do we do? Since the reading of this instrument majorly rely on a section where we have the Vania scale, then we will extract the part which contains the Vania scale and that's what we give to the students. So whatever I've circled as read there is the one that we have down here as diagram two. And then you will use the rules that we have laid down on reading this instrument to make your reading. And then you will sum up. For you to get the total reading, you will add the Vanya scale reading added to the main scale reading. But now you must make the correct main scale reading. Main scale reading is obtained as you go to the Vanya scale, the zero mark of the Vanya scale, you move up on the main scale, the value which is opposite and to the left, like in this case, this value here is the one that you're going to read. So in this case, it's going to be 2, 2.1, 2 2.2, 2.3. So here it's going to be 2.3 centimeter. Then now you will read the Vanya scale. The Vanya scale we said, you read the Vanya scale on a value that coincides with that of the main scale. Like in this case, if you go, the first one does not coincide, second one does not coincide, third one does not coincide, but now look at the fourth one. The fourth one coincides with the main scale. So for you now to read the Vanya scale, Vanya scale reading is going to be four, but you multiply by the accuracy, 0.01, and then this one is going to give us 0.04 centimeter. Now for you to get the total reading, that is the Vanya scale or the Vanya calipers reading is going to be main scale reading, which is 2.3 centimeter plus the Vanya scale reading, which is 0.04 centimeter, which is going to give us a 2.3 for centimeters. So as you can see, the number of decimal places will be equal to that one of the accuracy that is 0.01. So if you have mastered the art and the idea of reading these scales of Avania calipers, we are going to handle two, three, four also questions so that we understand better. And the first question here reads, the figure below shows Avania calipers scales. State the correct reading of the instrument in each case. So we will have more than two cases. The first case is the instrument that you can see. So here, for us to get total reading, total reading, we are going to get the main scale reading. We add the Vanya scale reading. So in this case, we are going to begin with the main scale. How do we read the main scale? We go to the zero mark of the Vanya scale, then we read the value on the main scale, which is opposite and to the left. 
of the zero mark of the vernier scale this one this is the value we are going to read but now how do we read it here we have 7 7.1 7.2 7.3 4.5.6 so the main scale reading is 7.6 centimeter then now we go to the vernier scale the vernier scale reading how do we read the vernier scale we read the value that coincides exactly with the main scale and we are going to begin from the zero does zero coincide with any value on the main scale no one does it coincide no two does it coincide no three does it coincide no look at four four coincides exactly with the main scale so in this case our vernier scale reading will be four but we said you multiply it with the accuracy of the instrument 0.01 centimeter so yeah it's going to give us uh, 0.04 centimeter so that is the vernier scale reading and now for us to get total reading total reading then it's going to be 7.6 centimeter plus 0.04 centimeter which we can add manually as 7.6 centimeter plus 0.04 centimeter so in this case it's going to be 4 6 point here like that so the answer is going to be uh, 7.64 centimeter and that is the reading of this instrument so the second question we are going to make the reading on this instrument and for us to get total reading then we are going to have the main scale plus the vernier scale reading so we are going to begin with the main scale reading how can we make the main scale reading you go straight to the zero mark of the vernier scale then you go up to the main scale and then you read the value which is opposite and to the left of the vernier of the zero mark of the vernier scale on the main scale so in this case we have to do we know the value which is be, behind here behind two is one but look at between two and three there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten divisions so it means if we are here at two if we move move back one division it will be one point nine and then if we move another move back it will be 1.8 so the value where we have this red is 1.8 centimeter so that is the value on the main scale then now can we read the vernier scale the vernier scale we read it by looking at the value which coincides with the main scale zero does not coincide one does not coincide two does not coincide but look at three three here is coinciding with the main scale so here our vernier scale the vernier scale reading is the vernier scale reading is three then you multiply it with the accuracy of the instrument that is 0 0.01 then it's going to give us 0 0.03 centimeters now for us to get total reading total reading then we are going to add the main scale which is 1.8 centimeter you add to 0 0.03 centimeter in this case it's going to give us three three then here it will be eight then one centimeter so the total reading is going to be 1.83 centimeters then the third question we are going to determine the reading on this instrument and as usual total reading total reading is going to be main scale reading plus the vernier scale reading and we determine the main scale reading the main scale reading is we are going to determine it by going straight to the zero mark of the vernier scale then we go up to the main scale and then you are going to read the value which is opposite and to the left like in this case so here we have three 
then 3.1, 3.2, 3.3. So the main scale reading is 3.3 centimeter. Then now can we read the vernier scale? The vernier scale reading. The vernier scale, you look at the value which coincides with the main scale. Zero does not coincide, one does not coincide, two does not coincide, three does not, four does not, five does not, six does not, but look at seven. Seven coincides with the main scale. So here, the Werner scale reading will be seven multiplied by the accuracy, which is 0 0.01 centimeter. So therefore, the Werner scale reading is going to be 0 0.01 seven centimeter then now for us to get total reading total reading we are going to add the main scale main scale plus the vernier scale which is going to be here total reading is going to be 3.3 centimeter plus 0 0.07 centimeter which is going to be seven three three so therefore our reading here is three point three seven centimeters so now i think everything is getting easier and easier we are going to make readings on this scale of the vernier calipers and for us to get total total reading total reading then we are going to get the main scale we add with the vernier scale can we find the main scale main scale is you go to the zero mark of the vernier scale then up to the main scale then the value which is left and opposite in this case this value here which have uh, rebelled with the red arrow but now are we able to know the value which is behind 11 Look at between 11 and 12, there are 10 divisions. So it means if you move back, you, if you move back 10 divisions, you will get 10. So 10 is somewhere behind here. But now in this case, if you move back once, that is 10.9. You move the second, 10.8. You move the third, 10.7. So this point here is 10.7. So the main scale will be... 10.7 centimeter. Then now, can we also read the Vanya scale? The Vanya scale is going to be, you go straight to the Vanya scale, then you look at the value which coincides with the main scale. Zero does not, one does not coincide, two does not, three does not, four does not, five does not, six does not coincide, seven does not coincide, but look at eight eight coincides with the main scale so in this case our vernier scale reading will be eight but we multiply it with the accuracy which is 0 0.01 centimeter which is going to give us 0 0.08 centimeter so in this case for us to get total reading of this instrument then it's going to be main scale reading which is 10.7 centimeter add to 0 0.08 centimeter which is going to give us 8 7 then 10 so in this case it's going to be total reading is going to be 10.78 centimeter like that so as you can see now it has become very simple what you do you add the main scale reading which you read correctly and the vernier scale which you multiply by the least count. Now, since everything is simple or simplified here at ECLIMU, I'm leaving you question two to you students. We have been given a, a diagram, then we make readings. Now, in this case, you are given the reading. Can you draw a diagram which will represent a reading of 5.45 on a Vanya Califars scale? So that marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss the zero error on Avania calipers.